Hi YouTube, how's it going? MacMan here. Well, I was recently told that one of my users is going to be getting a MacBook Pro soon, but they are wondering which applications would make their lives a lot easier and some of the must-have applications when you get your Mac. Well, today I'm going to be showing you a list of my favorite applications that I think would be great for you to have when you get your Mac. Let's dig in. My first application is an application called Mozilla Firefox. Mozilla Firefox is actually a web browser. Now, when you get your Mac, your Mac automatically comes with their very own web browser called Safari. I've also used Google Chrome and some other web browsers, but so far, I completely love Firefox the most. Firefox just seems to be a lot faster, powerful, and stronger. Firefox is also very customizable, and it is very simple layout and easy to maneuver around. You can also get great add-ons that you'll find very easy to use and will make your lives a lot simpler. My next application is an application a lot like Facebook. This application is called Facebox. There are two versions of Facebox, a free version and a paid version, all available in the Mac App Store. Facebox pretty much sits in your menu bar and allows you to surf your Facebook page in your menu bar. You can see your home page, your profile, friends, messages, and it has a chat function. You can only get the chat function though if you have the paid version, which is $4.99, but otherwise this application is free and it's great to have. My next application is a free application called Twitter. Twitter is a free application available in the Mac App Store. If you are an avid user of Twitter, I'd suggest you go download this now. What Twitter allows you to do is follow your favorite YouTube stars or friends and family. By having this Twitter application, instead of having to go on your Twitter account on your web browser, this allows you to view it in a small box on anywhere of your screen. As you can see, it tells you when all of my new videos are uploaded. You can also send personal messages, which is a great function. My next application is a great application that you can use daily. This application is called Menu Weather. Menu Weather is a very small application that holds in your menu bar. Pretty much, it tells you what the weather is for today and the rest of the week. As you can see, the current conditions are cloudy, 5 degrees Celsius. You also have some other options, and you can easily change where you live. I'd suggest you go download this because everyone can use it. My next application is another great application that you can use daily. I know I do. This application is called Quick Note. If you have an iPod Touch, iPad, or iPhone, this application will look very familiar to you. It pretty much allows you to write quick notes about pretty much anything you'd like. This is great if you want to copy text and remember it and paste it somewhere else. As you can see, I have all my YouTube tags in here and my comment description so I don't have to keep retyping it. It's easy as just copying it and pasting it in your YouTube video. My next application is a great app called Store News. If you have the Mac App Store, this will be very handy for you. Store News pretty much tells you when all apps in the Mac App Store are free or have a discount. For example, this game right here was previously $1.99, but as you can see now, it is free. This is a great application, so I don't have to spend as much money as I usually do. My next application is a great application for all you users who love Photoshop. Instead of using Photoshop, I prefer to use Pixelmator. Pixelmator is in the App Store right now, but it is paid, and I believe it is $29. But if you look at some of my recent videos, I will show you how to get it free. Feel free to check that out. The link will be in the description. Pixelmator is a lot neater and funner way of looking at Photoshop. It's not Photoshop technically, but it looks a lot like it. It's very easy to use, and I find it a lot better than Photoshop myself. It has these neat icons that get bigger as you click them. Also, it has a very simple layout, which is very easy to use. I'd suggest using this if you don't have enough money to buy Photoshop. This is a great application to have in that scenario. My next and last application is an application called App Cleaner. 
App Cleaner is used for deleting applications. Now, instead of dragging your application into the trash can like most people do, that doesn't fully delete the application. It only deletes the application itself, but not the contents that are inside of it. For example, if I wanted to delete Action Potato, I would click it, hit search, and as you can see, it has only found one file. But other applications, such as any Adobe application, if I were to click here, there are other applications or items in that application. By deleting it in the trash can, you only delete the application itself. So this is a great application if you want to delete applications. I'd suggest you download it. Well, everyone, that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions about these applications, feel free to send me a message or comment on this video. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All the links for these applications will be in the description, along with their prices. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.